Okay, Hannah has made her way upstairs to an exhibit that has ties to the Dallas community. Hannah. I'm standing here about to get an incredible tour of Octavio Medellin, Spirit and Form, from a man that knows this artist and this art so well. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Can you tell you folks your, your name and title here? My name is Mark Castro, and I'm the Jorge Baldor Curator of Latin American Art here at the DMA. Okay, so we're about to take a tour, and I am so excited. I've been doing a little bit of research, but before we do that, can you tell folks at home who Octavio Medellin is and his connection to right here in DFW? Octavio Medellin is a noted Mexican-American sculptor. He actually worked in the Dallas area for over 40 years as a really well-known artist, but also as a teacher. Uh, he's known really for engaging with a wide variety of materials, uh, but also for really being connected to the art scene here in Texas, in the United States, but also in Mexico. He really helped shape the Texas art scene, both as an artist, but also as a teacher. And he was teaching here, and like you were saying, this was a homecoming of sorts, correct? Yes, so he actually taught at the school at the museum for over 20 years, so having this first retrospective on the artist be here at the DMA is really a homecoming for him. That is amazing. I, I want to take a look at a little of the art, yes, your brain, if you don't mind. You know, one thing I was reading was he really allowed the the form, what he used to create the art, to speak to him. He said that he believed that you had to like listen to that. Talk to me about that process. Yeah, so he was an artist who practiced direct carving. He didn't use maquettes or plans. He often just got the log or the stone block and let it speak to him. He was looking for that form inside of the material. He believed each material had its own soul, and it was the job of the artist to connect with that and add to it. Oh, that's beautiful. One thing we were talking about, I think we both have a similar favorite piece right here. This is father and son. One thing that stuck out to me is, you know, we think of mothers as being so maternal and nurturing, but to see a father like this and showing that physical love, this is beautiful to me. Yeah, it's something that's quite unusual. Like you said, you don't see that many depictions of fathers and their sons having a kind of tender moment. This is thought to be a kind of self-portrait, a sculpture of Octavio with his then infant son, Sergio. He made it after a trip to Mexico where the family spent a lot of time together in really close quarters. So it's, I think, a real beautiful testament to their connection. You know, one other thing that I noticed is that it really leans into the connection between the history of Mexico and the history of Texas and how these are two stories that are interwoven. Um, what do you think people can learn by coming through this exhibit? I think you can learn about an artist who kind of crossed the border and lived kind of on both sides of it. He was not someone who was comfortable being, you know, considered a Mexican artist or an American artist. He really considered himself a product of both countries and thought that he could kind of take the best from both places and put that into his art. Final question for me, what's the one thing you would want people to take away from the experience of coming in here? What do you want them to know about the man and his art? And how long can people see this beautiful work? I think what I'd want them to see is an artist who was constantly working and constantly learning and who was sort of always persevering to try something new. That's something that really stuck with me. Um, and you can see this show all the way through January. Thank you so much for the private tour. This has been incredible. Thank you.